what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking charlie has a project for which he had determined a present worth of $28,494 he now has to calculate the IRR for the project but unfortunately he has lost complete information about the cash flow he knows only that the project has a 5 year service life and a first cost of first cost of 190,000 a set of equal revenue cash flows occurred at the end of each year for 5 years and MARR used for calculation on the calculation the present worth was 10 percentage what is the IRR for this project okay now let's see how to find that one out okay IRR and here they have mentioned a 5 year service life and the first cost of 180,000 now based on this we are going to create an equation 28,494 28,494 that's present worth that is equal unto we have first cost of 180,000 so this is negative 180,000 right here plus x times p over a that is here the interest rate is 10 percentage so 10 percentage right here and uh, it's for five five year service life so five here now if we solve for x from this one you will get 55,000 now we calculated uh, we calculate IRR from 180,000 this is the first cost 180,000 that is equivalent to x times p over a i star 5 now we have to find out what is i star is to do the i, I star to find out the i star we can do the linear interpolation and we know that x is 55000 so we can plug that one also here 180000 is 50 equal to 55,000 p over a i asterisk 5 and if you solve for this one p over a i asterisk 5 is going to give us 180,000 divided by divided by 55,000 that is equal to 3.273 now to find out i asterisk we had to look at the values on the table that is close to that gives the numbers close to this 3.273 and if you do that if you compare if you look at it in the table you will get p over a 20 percentage 5 that is equal to 2.9906 since this value is not exactly same as this one we had to do the above value as well we had to call Look at the above value so and p over a 15 percentage 5 that is equivalent to 3.3522 now we have to do the linear interpolation if you do the linear under interpolation you will get i value because we have 20 15 and these two values are not exactly the same so we have to do the linear interpolation and if you do the linear interpolation for these values you will get i asterisk to be 16.09 percentage and that is our irr and that is what they are asking for what is the irr for this project that is 16.09 percentage and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn engineering economics there are a bunch of videos in my playlist I hope you guys watch it too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.